God is worthy, isn't he? Of all of our praise, and he's here tonight. And I, I just got to give him the praise and the honor and all the glory. Because I know he's brought us every step of the way. And he's brought you every step of the way, and he's going to continue. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. And tonight we're going to ask... Uh, Brother James, would you stand and pray over this service that God's will and way would be done? Jesus, we come to you once again, Lord God. We just asking you, Lord God, to touch each and every heart, each and every mind, Lord God. Hallelujah. God, to, to send your word, God, and to rejoice, Hallelujah. Lord God, for we are a people that Hallelujah. are free. From the burden of sin, Lord oh God, we just thank you tonight for Jesus. that, Lord. God, we just Hallelujah. ask, Lord God, for liberty. God, and freedom that you serve tonight, Lord God. In the name of God. And that you would touch, Lord God. Break every chain, find it. Every power of hell that's poured. Hallelujah. God, we just ask that your in blessing, the name of Jesus. God, and your anointing. God, will be upon us and the greatest brings forth the word. Jesus. God, we just ask that your blessing will be in upon Jesus each and every one here. God, they hear in the hearts to retain your precious word. In Jesus', in Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 I need a couple of people that, to help me tonight, so I'm going to grab a couple. Sister Priscilla and Sister Sherry, would y'all come up here and catch me tonight? Then took they the body of Jesus and wound it in linen clothes with the spices as the manner of the Jews is to bury. I'm going to call up some things here. And every time I call one out, I want you to make a round around her. Okay? Anger. Resentment. Bitterness. Jealousy. Envy. Competition, pleasure. Using the left, slow down, sister. <laughs> Electronic devices in the wrong manner. Greedy, stingy, self importance. Yielding to temptations when they come our way, whether they be spiritual, moral, or otherwise. Wounds, you start going back down, we won't put it on our face. Oh, <laughs> Wounds, sicknesses, hurts, regret, unforgiveness, diseases, mental stress, discouragement, disappointment, physical stress, financial stress, job stress. Has anybody else got anything to add to that? There you go. It looks like somebody's getting ready to be buried here. Who is it? Huh? This is the church. This is the church. Satan is trying to bury the church. With all of this mess. And we are not affected. And if there's something else that you know about in your mind, then you take it to God. All of this stuff, the church, that Satan is trying to bury the church. With all of this stuff. And we're not affected. This is the church. 
All of y'all stand up. Y'all represent the world. Y'all represent the sinner. Y'all represent the world. But well, how are we going to reach you? How are we going to do anything for you? How are we going to help you? Because this is what Satan's trying to do to the church. Not walking in our calling. Not witnessing. Not reaching for the lost. Amen. We can't because we're so cumbered about and wrapped up in this. We're wrapped up in this. All these things, we're wrapped up in it. And we're ineffective. Right. We're worried about, is the church going to be the same as it was three years ago? Well, I can tell you already, it ain't. Amen. Will it go back to being like it was in last year? No. It won't. Does God have greater things? Yes. 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 Does God yes. have better things? Yes. 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 But we're going to have to let go of this. He's trying to put us in the tomb right here and bury us somewhat alive. Come on. Somewhat alive. Not really alive, but somewhat alive. Because every time he makes a wine, it's pushing the breath out of us. Good words. Yeah. Now what are we going to do about it? What are we going to do about it? I'm going to do what I tell my husband to do. Turn that flower. Look at here. He's just about, he's got us in this cave. And he's getting ready to bury us. Mm -hmm. But I see a little cross over there. It ain't Jesus' cross. It's where we're going to go out there and we're going to take all this stuff off and we're going to bury it in the name of Jesus Amen. and with the blood of Jesus. Amen. The God's going to give us the strength like he did Saxon to tear it off. Amen. Tear it off. Tear it off of us. Come out, church. Come out, church. The church is going to come out. Stand. I just want you to stand to represent the world. 
Hallelujah. We got to admit it. We got to submit. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you what, when we begin to release these things to God. Yes, amen. Release. Maybe somebody's in here, people have called you pain. And you begin to release that person to God. That's right. You begin freeing yourself. Come on. Come on, good preaching. You begin freeing yourself. What, when you begin to confess this to God, admit it and confess it to God, whatever it is, then you can release it effectively. That's right. And I'm not talking about just sorry with a big old pretending tear. But you got to be sorry. Amen. you got to be repentant. A repentance that brings change. Yes. Yes. Not change for a day, not change for a week, not change for a month, but change for a lifetime. Amen. Not saying you won't ever get a little weak, but you recognize this weakness is coming on you, and you go find your prayer closet, and you gain strength. Yes. Amen. And you gain strength. Amen. When we release these things, we will be restored. Amen. Yes. We will be restored. And then our resurrection will come. Resurrection won't come till we release it. Amen. Till we confess it, till we get it gone, till we let it have go. And then restoration can come in yes, amen. to our life and to this church. Restoration. Because we got to have a resurrection. Yes, we do. Amen. A minister talked to me not long ago. He said, I want you to tell God. But God, I don't know if I can or not. But I'm asking you to help me. Yes. To release everybody that's ever caused me pain. But restoration can't come till we get it released. Amen. Till we get it released. It'll make us take roads that we didn't need to take. It'll make us go down avenues that God wasn't sending us on. But our discombobulated flesh was hearing a voice. I ain't said that nobody has gone anywhere. That's them and God. I'm just saying. Come on. We got to know we're hearing God and we're walking in the path that He has us on. Yes, amen. And we are beginning to be resurrected around here. Because I'm going to tell you what, when Jesus was in that tomb, there was no sign of life. Dead. Right. Dead. Weeping. Just like it was permanent. Ah, but it wasn't permanent. Right. It ain't permanent. It ain't, ain't permanent around here. Amen. It ain't permanent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, it ain't permanent. That's right. Because all of a sudden, there was life. Jesus came back. Hallelujah. Life. He broke out. He broke out. Hallelujah. All of the wine and the was around him, and it wasn't his sin. It was ours. Amen. He come out alive and well. And we're going to come out alive and well when we begin to let the Lord restore. Then we can fully and really rejoice. Amen. The precursor to any revival, personal or corporate, is repentance. Repent of your sins. Repent of, of Daniel now. He repented not only his sins, he repented for the nation. If you ain't got no sins to repent of, then repent of somebody else's. <coughs> what you think? But my, God knows the truth. Amen. And he'll work it out in his end. Hallelujah. Because when we do that, we'll find the door. Who is the door? Who is the door? Jesus is the door. It'll be bright and light 
and there it will be. Hallelujah. He was there all the time. He was there all the time, but in our blindness. But in our wrapped up stage, our mental capacity, our health, we just get so focused on these things. We get so focused on these things, but we're not focused on him. Amen. Tonight, we got to let it go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Take it to Jesus and leave it there for real. Amen. For real, leave it there. For real, leave it with Jesus. Hallelujah. And feel the restoration coming in to Amen. your life. If you ever went into a home that's been restored, how beautiful. How beautiful. Hallelujah. You've seen old cars they restore. How beautiful. How beautiful we were made. Amen. Hallelujah. How beautiful we were made. How beautiful we would be when we allowed him to restore. And we come forth, and hallelujah, the power of his might. Hallelujah. Not our might, but his might. We're going to come forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Victorious over every attack. Over every weapon. Of, and our war flesh, our warfare is not carnal. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because you know our flesh, if it's ruling, we stay in trouble in our mind. That's right. Amen. You know, that song everybody's dummy wrong song, whatever that was. Somewhere in yesteryear I heard something about that. You know. Jesus ain't never done you no wrong. Jesus ain't never done you no wrong. Let him in. We got to let him in. And let him restore. Let him take that rust. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Because we got to come forth. You know, people's looking at the church and they think it's dead just like Jesus was. Come on. But all of a sudden, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, hallelujah, people get weary because they can't wait on God. But all of a sudden, he shows up on the scene. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, he comes through. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Have you ever seen them old fuddy-duddy firecrackers? And you thought that wasn't going to go on? I got a great uncle that lost an eye because of some kind of something like that. You don't want to stick your eye over the log and see if the thing's still alive and going to go off. Because any time or any second it can go off, hallelujah, and everything change. Everything change. When God gets ready, hallelujah, hallelujah. When we get ready, number one, when we get ready, when we get prepared, when we get flesh and self dead, dead, that means we won't have a will above God's will. Amen. Our way won't matter. We say, God, do it your way. That's right. And God ain't got just one way. Because the Bible says his ways are past finding out. Brother Bob will never figure out all of his ways. Amen. Hallelujah. When we think we got it figured out, he's going to come up with something new. He's going to come up with something different. How many tonight want to start letting the Lord help us release these things and give us the strength to come out of this grave? Yes, the amen. devil is trying to bury us somewhat alive. Amen. We're still breathing, but we really are living. Not like God wants us to. Amen. We're not thriving like God wants us to. Amen. We're not that church on fire like God wants us to be. Yes. You know the fire, the Holy Ghost and fire. Right. The fire is that purification. He burns out the draws. He burns out the chaff. 
Hallelujah. He burns out the impurities. Yeah. Hallelujah. Those things that keep trying to crop up between you and God, that's why it's so important to keep the fire stoked. Amen. To keep the fire stoked in your life. Hallelujah. So many people just think Christianity is just something you settle down in. And you just go to church and you go home. And you go to church and you go home. And you come look at the preacher and the preacher looks at you. But God says that there is more to it than that. Amen. We should have such power and fire in our souls that we couldn't sit in this church and be quiet. Amen. That something will rise up in us, that wheel in the middle of the wheel. Hallelujah, we'll start turning. Yes. Hallelujah, we can't stay quiet. We can't stay quiet. Amen. I said you can't stay quiet. Yes. Hallelujah, I'm out here running the white hot. Whoopee, all the way up here. Hallelujah. <laughs> you never know what God can do. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of these that you think may never evolve, make a noise in church as far as worship, you might get surprised when we get in that place. When we get in that place, we got to crucify the flesh and all of these things that the enemy is trying to bury us with. That's right. Because we're ineffective as a church, as the body of Christ, to this world like that. Maybe you say, I beg to differ with you, sister. I, I ain't like that. I'm, I'm just free. I tell you what, I'm just an amazing thing for God. Well, I thank God for it. But the rest of us, we need some help. We need some help. I need some help. Amen. You know what? The worst thing is if when people won't ask for help, they in trouble in their mind. They in trouble in their heart. They're in trouble in their life, but they won't ask for help. They won't ask God for help. Call on me. Amen. He says, call on me, and I will answer you, right. and I'll show you great mighty things that you know not. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will. God will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When it looks like all is lost, it's not. Amen. It's not. Because you know what? There's a third day. Amen. That's right. There's a third day. Hallelujah. There's a third day. Hallelujah. If you don't remember nothing else I said tonight, you remember there's a third day. Yeah. And I'm coming forth. This church is coming forth. There's a third day. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And we're going to be triumphant. Are we going to be perfect? No. But we're going to be triumphant, and we're going to have the perfect one living within us, and he's going to let us know when we're out of line. Amen. And he's going to fix it. He's going to work if we let him. If we let him. We have to let him. Hallelujah. There's nothing he's going to force on us. How many wants to cry out tonight? Yes, amen. Lord. Give me strength to release these things. Give me strength yes, amen. to bury my flesh and to say, not my will, but thy will be done. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Yes, to be a part of something and working and praying, maybe just behind the scenes, and nobody even know about it, but God knows about it. He's the rewarder. He's the rewarder. Hallelujah. Old song they used to sing. Nobody wants to play with them guitar behind Jesus. Everybody wants to be the lead singer in the band. Come on. We got we to gotta fall in place. Hallelujah. We got to fall in our place, whatever that is. And I can tell you what the place is. First of all, it's that prayer closet. Amen. And we got to fall in. I pray this prayer sometimes. And it's the word of God. 
I'll fall upon you, Lord, that I might be broken unless you fall upon me and grind me to powder. Yes, That's the word of God. Amen. I would rather fall and be broken than to him to fall on me and grind me to powder. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, humble yourself under the hand of the Almighty God. Now, that's two things. We can humble ourselves, but he can humble us. That's our choice. But I'm going to tell you what. I want to humble myself. Amen. I want to come under subjection to the power of the Holy Ghost, under the will of God, whatever it is. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. If if when he says pick one here, they look like skid row. Y'all know what that is? The Bronx in Chicago. If the people look that far into us, I still want to be right here working, working in the harvest, trying to reach them and pull them out of what they're in. Amen. Hallelujah. We gotta be strong enough that whatever they're in, that we can help pull them out, and they gonna pull us in what they're in. That's right, amen. Because that can happen if you don't stay strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Amen. Hallelujah tonight. I love Him. I love Him tonight. Hallelujah. I know this ain't very long, but this is, but it's strong. Amen. It ain't Good long, word. but it's strong. Good word. Are you going to remember it? You know, I'm not looking for you to shout me down tonight. But what I am looking for is Sunday morning, you know, Friday night, to be different. Come on. Amen. I'm looking for Friday night, but something's going to change between tonight and Friday night. Yeah. Somewhere we're going to find Jesus. Hallelujah. And let him minister to all of our needs. Hallelujah. Amen. And your needs are important to you. My needs are important to me. And they're all important to God. And your needs are important to me. There's nobody that's not important. That trailer hitch on that truck might be looking real nice. But if that pen ain't in there, Come what on. you got going on? What you got going on? That pen ain't the big thing they see. That ain't what's seen. But that pen that's in there that's holding it together. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Amen. Help us, Jesus. I know everybody ain't here tonight, but if just the ones that are here tonight hears the word and becomes a doer of the word, mm -hmm. oh, what it will transform this house. It will transform this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you what. The devil is a liar. Amen. He'll fill your mind with stones. He'll fill your heart with stones. Hallelujah. But we got to go to God and let him bust it up. <laughs> let him grind it.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. God, you know all about it, God. You know all about it, God. You know, hallelujah, you are God. And you will not fail. You are God. Hallelujah, Jesus. You love us, God. You love us, God. You love us, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise you tonight, God. We give you glory tonight, God. Every heart and life of this church tonight. Everybody that's viewing, hallelujah, by Facebook. God, we ask you to deal and to move and let you walk and talk to them, God. Hallelujah, Jesus, in the holy name, God. We ask you, God, hallelujah, that you will help us crucify the flesh. Would you help us to release, oh God, all of these things that's got us bound in bondage and bondage and ready to be buried. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But we know there's a third day coming. In Jesus' name, there's a third day coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the natural eye, it don't look like it. Hallelujah. To our flesh, it don't look like it. But we know, God, hallelujah, that you're more than able. You're greater, hallelujah, than anything that tries to take us out. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, God. Hallelujah. The church is not going to be buried. The church is not going to be buried in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. For it will be delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because we're going to let God into our heart. We're going to let God into our mind. We're going to let God into our soul. We're going to let God into our body. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we believe in you, God. In the name of Jesus, we got to work together. We got to pull together. Hallelujah. Work together. Pull together. Hallelujah. God, hallelujah. No matter where we are in the lineup, God, help us just to be there and do our part. Hallelujah, God. To be filled and refilled with the Holy Ghost, God. To be filled and refilled with the Holy Ghost. We need the power of the Holy Ghost in our life. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You said it's not power. Oh, my, no, my power, but by your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Help us to be here, oh, not hearers only, but doers of the word. Oh, oh God, hallelujah. Oh,
When we get the Holy Ghost, his rights in our life. Hallelujah. Take over our lives. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah, oh, Jesus. God. Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus, we praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 There comes a reckoning day in our lives. There comes a reckoning day. Hallelujah. We have to go to God and get it fixed up. Hallelujah. Because if we don't do it now, we'll face it then. We'll face it yonder. Hallelujah. We'll face it yonder. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I heard a story, something about a minister dying and going to heaven. But the Lord didn't let him in or in. He told the Lord all these things. He said, but you didn't love me. You didn't love me. My God, we cannot do things out of duty. Hallelujah. We got to do it out of love. We got to do it out of love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Do you love the Lord tonight? Do you love him more than you love yourself? Oh, thank you, Lord. When we love him more than we love ourselves, we're going to be getting somewhere. Amen. I'm going to get you something. You, you know what? It ain't about me. And it ain't about you. It ain't about us. It's about the Father's will being done. Oh, it's about souls being saved. Accomplishing something for the kingdom of God. Like I said, I realize none of us will ever be perfect. But we got to. We got to go to Jesus. And we got to let him work on us. Because you know what the devil would like to do in some cases? He's got us all bound up and ready to bury us. And he'll throw a little bit of spices on us to make us smell like we're alive. Make us look like we're alive. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But all the time he's blowing a stone. He's blowing a stone. Yeah. He's blowing a stone. Hallelujah. Huh. Blowing a stone. Praise the Lord. I'm thank you for coming tonight. Listening to what I feel like the Lord gave me. You may not believe it, you may not feel like it. But Pastor and I love everybody in this church. And we want what's best for you in this church. We got to be led by the Spirit. No matter what. Amen. We have to be led by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Let's stand and sing this chorus that uh, Sister Priscilla was playing while I go out singing. Reach out and touch the Lord. As he goes by, and you'll find he's not too busy to hear your heart's cry. He's passing by this moment, your need to supply. So reach out and touch. Lord, as he goes by. 